with me today to go hiking with me. Yay, so excited. I haven't done this since last summer, but I'm hiking solo today. And I am going to Silverthorne, Colorado, which is like two hours away from me. And I'm doing like a wildflower hike. And you guys may have seen it on TikTok as well. I think it's called the Acorn Creek Trail, but I'll get the name and give it to you guys. But I've seen it all over TikTok. Obviously, since I live in Colorado, I have Colorado targeted TikToks. And I've been really wanting to try this hike out. So today was the perfect day to go and I'm just getting ready. I honestly got a later start than I wanted to since it's two hours away, but it's fine. It happens and I honestly have nothing else to do today. So we're just, we're just taking it as it goes. My whole outfit is from Aerie and my shoes are Keens. This is the hiking fit. We love her. I'm wearing leggings because it's like 50 degrees, 60 degrees in Silverthorne and I don't want to be freezing my ass off. That's the update right now, ladies and gentlemen. Got my bag packed. I am, I have my full tripod packed in hopes to take some fun photos because I'm hiking solo, but I still want photos. And yeah, I think I need to go get gas and then I'm debating if I should get Starbucks or not. Probably shouldn't, but I really want some. <laughs> so I might end up getting some. I need to pack some food and then I need to get gas, probably go to Starbucks, and then get on the road. And yeah, that's about it right now and I will see you guys in the car. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good, thanks. What can I make for you? Um, I have a pickup order for Grace. For Grace? Yeah. Let me check on that. Alright, love, do you need a straw? No, that's okay. Awesome. See you around the corner, okay? Thank you. Yes. Hi, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. You too. We got the goods. We got the goods. We're freaking ready to go. Yum. Too good. My window's a rolly window. <laughs> Two hours and 29 minutes, people. Starting route. Supposed to get there around 10. Again, a little later than I wanted, but we're on the road. We're doing it. We're doing the dang thing. And yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> See you guys there. Okay, also, really quick before I get on the highway, Speak Now came out last night and I didn't get to listen to it yet because I wanted to go to bed early and be able to wake up today. Woke up kind of later, anyways, but. I purposefully downloaded the whole album so I can listen to it today. So we're listening to Speak Now the entire way there and I will tell you guys how long is it. You know how it tells you how long the album is sometimes? One hour and 44 minutes. So I should be able to get through the whole thing and I will try to let you guys know what I think of it, what my favorite songs are, and frick, I'm so excited. This is so awesome. Okay. Um, BRB listening to speak now for the full two hours. <laughs> no better way to spend my time. Okay, it is 10, 27, and I just made it to the parking lot. I'm so excited. These views are already insane. I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. Oh my God. Like literally this direction over here, I don't even think this is the way I hike. I think I go that way. But I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. The mountain view is insane. It's so pretty. I am in awe. So I'm gonna get out, put some sunscreen on, get my backpack together, get all the stuff ready to go, and then we'll be on the way. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's so pretty out here. Guys, look at this freaking view. Are you kidding me? 
This is just the craziest view ever. Like what the frick? I'm obsessed. I cannot get over this. This is just the most magical thing ever. <laughs> For all of those wondering, it is called Acorn Creek Trailhead. I am gonna try to do the loop. I heard on all trails that it was a little bit hard to find the loop, but that is what I will be trying to accomplish today. So, so excited. It's already so pretty. And there's already wildflowers everywhere. This is insane. This is literally two feet into the hike. Craziness, I'm obsessed. So, so, so pretty. Okay, I'm literally two seconds into the hike, but I had to stop because I just met the sweetest little ranger man. <laughs> sweetest ranger. He gave me this newspaper pamphlet like about the hikes here. And if you turn to the next page, you can try to identify all of the flowers that are on this hike, which is so cute and so fun. And I'm obsessed and he was so nice. So 10 out of 10 would recommend this hike already. This hike is literally insane guys. These flowers are columbines, which are Colorado state flower. And I've quite literally never seen so many of them in one spot, blooming all at the same time. They're literally everywhere in this entire forest. Insane. These are pretty. Those are pretty. Literally, all the wildflowers are so pretty. This is insane. I'm like freaking out. Like, I've never seen so many flowers before. Wow. This is insane. There are so many of these orange pink flowers. I put the newspaper away so I don't know what they're called. But, <laughs> oh my God, that's literally insane. What the frick? This is seriously insane, insane. I hope you guys can see like literally all the orange and pink. Because those are all flowers. Like what the freaking heck? Also, the weather said it was supposed to be like 50s, 60s, low 70s today, so I wore leggings. And I could definitely have worn shorts. I thought it was gonna be colder than it was. I'm sweating my ass off. So, just a warning. There is incline and the sun is out and I'm sweating. So, would recommend shorts if the weather says the same thing when, when if you guys come do this hike. Oh my god. I'm so out of breath. This is so fun. I literally can't get out of this view. What the heck, Colorado? So freaking pretty. Cute little mountains.
because that's insane. Woo wee, Colorado's beautiful, man. So many wildflowers. Dang, it's crazy. guys, I have you set up on my little tripod right now. I stopped and took some photos and some videos. I was very proud of myself because I found this little spot. It's like a little bit off the trail and then I was taking my own photos, doing my own thing, and then I noticed two other sets of people. One other set had come over to take their own photos over there, like kind of nearby. And then the other set was like two old ladies who were like watching me and they were like, they like came over, oh, there's so many flies. They like came over and they were just like, watching me take pictures and they were just like oh you found such a nice little spot and they were so nice usually i feel like when people take photos by themselves or like when you set up a tripod and try to do it yourself it's like a little bit nerve-wracking and it can be i don't know it can be a little bit embarrassing for some reason trying to do it by yourself like but like who cares like i'm by myself i want a photo like i'm gonna set up my tripod and take a photo it's not embarrassing but both sets of people were so nice and so kind and it just made my day, honestly, because sometimes it's like a little nerve wracking. You don't know what people are gonna do or think of you. So that made my day, honestly. Right now, it is 12 11, and I've honestly not really been keeping track of time. There's just like so many wildflowers and things to see. I'm just like stopping every few seconds, honestly, to like take photos and videos, because there's just like so much to see but I checked my fitness app and it says I'm at 1.56 miles and this I think this whole hike is supposed to be around four miles so and I actually don't even know if I'm doing the right hike because I haven't seen literally any signs there's no signs at all saying which way is which um, so I don't even know if I'm doing the right trail I've seen a lot of other people doing this but there's literally no signs I don't know I think I'm gonna try to like get around 2.5 two and a half to see if I'm actually making like a loop or not because I don't know if I'm just going like straight out into one direction you know um, and it's supposed to be a loop so I'm hoping I loop around or start to loop around a little bit soon I think there's also supposed to be water at some point I haven't seen any water but honestly if I do the wrong hike I do the wrong hike and I don't really care because there's just so much to see and honestly I would come out here again and hike this a million times and do the other trails. It's not the end of the world if I picked the wrong path. Time will tell and I just wanted to show you guys this cute little spot because it's so beautiful out. Yay! Love nature. Literally insane out here. But yeah, that's my update right now. We'll keep you guys updated if I seem to me making my way through the loop or not. And also I'm starting to get hungry. So I think I'm gonna hike until I get to like two, two and a half, see where I'm at, eat some lunch, and then head back down or keep doing the loop. <laughs> so yeah, that's the game plan right now. And I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far because it's so freaking pretty. Okay, I'm definitely making some kind of progress. Some what of a loop. I came down the back side and I have now found a field called Raj's Field, I think. And I tried to pull up all trails because again, there was multiple ways you could go for this time. And none of them had any sign of direction of which way you should go for the loop or for the regular trail. I pulled up all trails and it's actually loading. And it's not that I'm on the right path. So, I, I don't have the premium all trails, which is why I couldn't download the map beforehand, and which is like why I'm confused. And I didn't know if it would load, but it's actually loading. And it says I'm on 
the right direction. 10 out of 10 would recommend pulling up all trails even if you don't have the premium version because it is pretty helpful right now. Yeah, it looks like we're making our way down the back end. I was going the right way. So, slay for me another successful solo trip. And this is actually my first solo trip, I think, like figuring out the trail all by myself. Because the one in Boulder I've done multiple times and the first time I did it with my family. This hike I'm doing all on my own and I hope to do many more on my own. This update right now, it's very steep going down. So I'm gonna make my way down a little bit more and then try to find a spot to eat. Guys, I found the water, <laughs> which means I was doing the right path all along. Just like all trails said, um, I was worried I wasn't gonna find the water though. But there it is, she's flowing. Um, it's called Acorn Creek Trail for a reason, because there's water. So if you don't find water on the hike, you did something wrong. Yeah, yay, I did the right hike, and we found the water. <laughs> and we found literally the most amazing views. The views are honestly better than hiking along the water. I would, but I'm just glad I'm on the right path. And yay for <laughs> Acorn Creek. I'm back at the original fork in the road. And it's like one something. And I haven't eaten my lunch yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I packed a little sandwich. sugar on hikes is just like good to get your boost of energy back up as well as like sustained food. This is just going to give me a little pep in my step for hiking back to the car which isn't that far away and then driving home. I'm going to eat my lunch and enjoy the view. This is where all the orange flowers are. It's so pretty and I'm just going to eat my sandwich because I am starving. Okay, well that's it guys. I am headed back to the car. I finished eating lunch, got a few shots. I'm just gonna hike back to the car. I don't think I'm gonna take any more pictures or videos because I've already taken a lot. And I'm just gonna enjoy the hike back. But this has been so fun and I will catch up with you guys in the car. Everyone say goodbye to this lovely flower field. I'm gonna miss it. I wish I could live in this flower field, but sadly I cannot. <laughs> Okay, this is just a preface for anyone who decides to go on this trail. I am a big advocate for sharing trails and not gatekeeping them. But that being said, that means, this is a little warning for all your rats out there. This is a beautiful, this is one of the most beautiful trails I've ever been on. It is blowing up because of social media. I found it on TikTok or else I would have never known about it. But that being said, we need to keep it nice and clean and pretty. The trail is called Acorn Creek Trail, if I haven't said it already. It's, in, it's by Silverton, Colorado. It's beautiful. There are so many wildflowers. That means we do not pick the wildflowers. The wildflowers are not for us. They're not for our keeping. They're for the land. We do not want to ruin the wildflowers and all of them that have grown this year because of the rain. They are beautiful and we are not picking them for our own use. Number one. Number two, we are not stomping all over the wildflowers to take pictures and to be in the field. I took a lot of pictures and videos as shown in this video, as will be shown in my Instagram. All of the photos and videos I took were not stepping on the wildflowers or anywhere near them. They were either on the trail or somewhere kind of right off the trail where the wildflowers were not growing. So make sure you are very wary of where you're taking photos, where you're stepping. Do not stomp all over the wildflowers. We are not here to ruin the wildflowers, okay? And third thing is that we are not leaving a trace. This goes for every hike, every spot in nature. Leave no trace. If you guys leave trash out here, I'm gonna come hunt you down myself and 
kick your ass, okay? You're not leaving a trace. No, no, no. It's the most annoying thing when I see trash on the trail. Disgusting. Literally, it's so easy to not leave a trace. Don't do it or you're a rat. Okay, thank you. And that is my little rant. Otherwise, enjoy this hike because it's beautiful and I love it so much. <laughs> what a wonderful day. I just wanted to recap the hike really quick while I have time. First things first, the trail is very well laid out. It's very well kept. It's beautiful. The only issue is that there are really no signs. So I would recommend going on all trails and looking at the reviews and a lot of people say to go clockwise to do the hike, which I think is what I did. But yeah, every clockwise turn there was, or like right turn with a fork, I took that. Otherwise, you can pull up all trails and follow that. I don't even have premium and it works on my phone, so I would recommend doing that. Don't get lost out here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful no matter what path you take, but if you were trying to do the loop or to see the like big mountain views, go right on the forks. In the road and then second thing I want to talk about is that I have never seen so many solo women hiking just by themselves on any trail I felt so safe <laughs> not even joking I was like a little bit nervous to do this because as I said my last solo hiking video was in Boulder and I've done that trail a million times with people and without I know my way around up and down it's so close to Boulder and I feel so safe this is more in the middle of nowhere never done it tried it by myself and it worked out great and i have literally never seen so many women hiking solo and a bunch of them had dogs which was very cute and i think a big reason is because this this hike has blown up on tiktok and i also think solo hiking is becoming more normalized which i love but i hope to see more solo women out on the trails because it can be scary but it's honestly it's fun it's an experience it's you shouldn't hold yourself back from experiences just because like no one wants to go on a hike with you so that just made my day honestly seeing so many women on the hike and i've done so many hikes with my family and i've never seen so many solo women so it was just really cool and i hope every woman feels comfortable enough to go on trails alone because it's so worth it and I think that was like pretty much all I wanted to recap. I hope you guys had fun hiking with me. I'm gonna go drive through Silverton. I don't know if I'm gonna, I was gonna maybe stop at a coffee shop, but I don't know if I want to anymore. We will see. I don't have, I haven't had any Wi-Fi this whole time. That's the other thing. Sometimes you have Wi-Fi or like cellular on hikes. I had absolutely no service on this hike at all. So that was a little scary. Just gonna drive back to Silverton and see what all of my notifications are. Might stop at a coffee shop, might drive straight home. Time will tell, but no matter what, thanks so much for hiking with me and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, I made it to Denver and I am stuck in some traffic, which is classic Denver. If you've ever been here, there is always a crash or something holding up traffic. I decided not to go to a coffee shop in Silverthorne. By the time I get home, it's gonna be like dinner time. I wanna shower, relax the rest of the night, and yeah, I just didn't really feel like exploring the town much today. But I do like usually like trying out a coffee shop or doing something, but I wasn't feeling up through it today. But I did stop at a gas station and I got some goods. Got some vitamin water. My favorite flavor is the dragon fruit flavor. Cause I feel like I needed something to like recharge and kind of get my muscles rejuvenated again or whatever. Um, I don't know if this, I think this has like electrolytes and stuff in it. I don't know. I debated it between this and like Gatorade, but I love this stuff. So I got vitamin water and then I got two packs of gum. Cause I am an avid gum chewer. I got bubble gum and cinnamon. I've just been jamming out to speak and now again. I'm going through the whole thing again. I'm on Enchanted right now. I really like to listen to them in order, which is so funny. I usually, I don't know, I've been doing that lately. I usually never did that. I would always put albums on shuffle, but ever since, honestly, like the latest Harry Styles album, I've just loved listening to albums in order. Um, I don't think I ever realized that it was kind of like, a story or whatever you know <laughs> but it does make sense that the artists would put it in like the order they want and I just like like to see how they like go through on Enchanted right now and just stuck in some traffic honestly my map says that there are there are lots of spots with traffic on it today lots of car crashes which is not fun it's 408 which I guess is like the 
time people start to get out of work. I'm just, at least it's not totally standstill. We're moving a little bit. Don't really have much else today. Um, I just wanna say thank you so much for going hiking with me. I love doing these solo hiking trips and bringing you guys along. That's about it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you go on this hike at all. Let me know your favorite hikes in Colorado or wherever. I would love to check them out. And yeah, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.